Hello there, Yuris here, and welcome to the Freelance Thrive Podcast for Season Summary, where I'll share 10 things you can learn from experienced freelancers in less than 10 minutes. Let's roll! Freelancing is great, and no matter what challenges we have, it usually makes us stronger. But if you constantly feel stressed, Elena Utilite has something for you. Freelancing is for everyone, that's what they say. On another mm-hmm. hand, I know tons and tons of people who tried freelancing and they're like, oh hell, you know, I go back to nine to five, I just don't want to have this stress anymore. So these yeah. are the people who are not fitted mentally or by the, the skill set that they have. It's just not for them and that's totally fine. If you are totally sure that you love freelancing but keep running into same challenges over and over and over again, Remember, doing the same things brings you the same results. So here comes the hardest part of making changes from Balash Beres. The hardest part is always the first time when you are doing it. You don't know how to start it. You don't know whom should you ask how to do anything like this. And of course, you can find a lot of tips and tricks in the internet, but need to start, you just need to do it. And you will see along the way that how it's going for you. So if you want to do something differently, start with updating your LinkedIn. And here is an amazing tip from Manessa Russ. How I recommend people think about the about section is the old cover letter. So remember you used to send a cover letter with your CV? Well, recruiters don't read those. So make your cover letter on LinkedIn. And a bit of advice with that is that's where you want to tell people everything else that doesn't appear on your LinkedIn profile. So don't tell us about what you studied or where you work. Tell us about why you chose to study mm. what you studied. Tell us where your passion lies. Recently, a study by Fluence Business with 434 freelancers from 58 countries told us that most projects come to them from their network and connections. And that's exactly what Adam Faulkner talked about. Every single conversation you have could lead to something. And I don't mean like necessarily work or money. I just mean, even if it's a 10 second conversation or a, or a message exchange, it's great. And we live in this era of super connectivity and yeah. huge, huge amounts of self-promotion. So you have to just, just do it. Like you've got nothing to lose. Look, we have our family and friends and people that we, we've known for a long time, but Every single day is an opportunity to meet someone new and hear about them and what they're about. And from that, it just so happens that opportunities come. One of the good ways of starting a connection is by asking questions. But how to ensure that you aren't asking stupid questions? Here's what Mario Prada thinks about it. Sometimes uh, I ask stupid questions myself because that's perfectly normal. Even for me, I'm still learning. I'm already a software developer. I'm still learning. I, I want to understand new technology and I will always ask stupid questions. If you are thinking, okay, Google, where do I find time to connect with people? Here is what Shia Karsing has for you. All those small tasks that are not within necessarily your skill set or aligning with your vision, they do take time. So half an hour doesn't sound like much. You think, oh, it doesn't take me long. It's half an hour. But if you have 10 of those half an hour tasks, that's five hours. So another part of optimizing your time is looking at what can I delegate? What can I eliminate? And what can I outsource? Here is one more skill that will help you start connections. And it run talked about it. Public speaking is amazing. Regardless of the aspect of networking and freelancing and everything, public speaking is something that anyone and everyone should engage with and practice because that is important across the board. Regardless of who you are, what you do, if you're a freelancer, if you're an employee. Remember, if you're given a talk, people will approach you themselves. And yeah, it's easier than starting a conversation yourself. What will also help you to feel more confident is having me time when you get stuck. And here is what Vanessa Epstein shared about it. So think about that five minute warm up every morning before you start, before you check your email, before you check your agenda item and even issues that you're actually urgent, urgent issues like have to happen right now. Go, wait a minute. This is me time. I need to actually find who I am. Also, what might help you to unstuck is to think whether you are working on tasks that you really like and if you are solving them your way, not the way somebody told you to do it. Because that's exactly where the power of freelancers is, finding great solutions fast. 
It's called self-management. And here is what Irina Rokosh said about this approach. Instead of giving every step to the person without explaining them what they're supposed to achieve at the end uh, or how what they do fits into the bigger picture, you actually give them the bigger picture and let them figure out the steps by themselves. We want to be fast to market. We want to be agile to respond to change. We want innovation, which means we need another management structure. So self-management was the thing that supports innovation and fast change and agility a lot better. And no matter what's going on in your freelancer journey, remember that good is better than great. And here is what Said Sadak thinks about it. I have to stop myself somewhere. Okay, this is totally fine. Get it out there. I don't care about typos. Don't care about little things. Nobody mm. will notice. Nobody will care. It's just you. Um, you won't get any bad words or feedback from anybody. It never happened. So just get it out there and then take it off and try to focus on the next thing. And just like that, these were 10 things you can learn from 10 freelancers in less than 10 minutes. What have you learned? Share it in the comments here or on LinkedIn or whatever, and let's connect. If you learn something new, share this episode with your friend. That's it. I'm done. See you next episode.